Hi there guys, we're back with auxiliary views and we have a pyramid to draw this time around. So on the screen you will see that I have already provided you with an auxiliary view and I've bisected one of the angles and in fact a second angle is bisected by simply dropping a perpendicular line through the object as this is a or an equilateral triangle um, this means that line AB has been divided into two already. Okay, so when I bisected this angle over here and I bisected this angle over here where the intersecting points meet, that would give me the center of my object. Now, I need to take these points and plot them onto my 3D object or the box. Please take note that I've taken these dimensions of B, C and I've used those dimensions for line B, C which is also equal to A, D. Yet again, 60 would have been the dimension for line C, D and for line A, B and therefore this line over here and this line over here is equal to 60. Okay. So I've gone ahead, I've plotted my auxiliary view onto the bottom base A, B, C and D and I've also found the center of my object but I have to do this on my auxiliary view first. First and foremost everything has to be done on your auxiliary view because you're going to be taking the measurements from your auxiliary view and plotting them on your isometric view. Please do not bisect the angles on the isometric view. Do not do that. Alright. I do see we have a construction line missing here so I'm going to just go and include that. Alright. So right now also what I've actually transferred is the actual center line from our auxiliary view across to my 3D shape by simply measuring from point A to where the center line actually cuts the box that's surrounding my shape. This measurement was 17.32 and I've simply opened up my compass from A to 17.32 and I've scribed an arc over here or you could just simply measure that distance over here. Right from this point over here where it actually intersects with the outside box I then need to draw a 30 degree line as it is an isometric drawing. We stick to 30 degree center lines going left and going right. You'll note that this center line over here equates to the center line over here. This center line over here equates to the center line over here. As these two center lines intersect, forming the center of my shape, I would have to find the center of my shape over here as well. And like you've just been explained, that is exactly how I'm going to go about finding the center by simply plotting the point from my, my parameter and drawing 30 degree lines to find the center. Okay. I've also taken my center lines and projected them straight up to the top surface. In this question here they don't state how high this actual object needs to be so you can go and assume I've made it 80 millimeters. I've simply projected my intersecting point from the parameter to the top parameter. Take note that these two lines here are also 30 degree lines and where they intersect will give me the exact point above the center of my object. Right, now that I've found the center of my object and I've projected it up, remember we're dealing with pyramids here, we may simply go and join each one of the base corners to the apex. I'm going to go ahead. This will obviously need to be final line from B to the top, from the top 
to another corner and from A to the top. Please note I have kept this one line in construction. I do however need to change that line to a hidden detail line. Alright, thank you for watching. Hope this was very helpful.